Hey, welcome to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Amy. If you have been here before, welcome back, you guys. We're doing a pick a card reading for you today to find out who wants to talk to you, who's going to be initiating a conversation with you in the near future, wanting to talk to you, wanting to slide into your DMs, wanting to pick up the phone and call you. We'll find out who they are first, and then we'll get into what are they wanting to say, what have they been thinking about before they approach you. Um, we'll also get songs to get the vibe from them about how they're feeling about you. We'll get some different songs that might resonate for you guys. And we're going to also, at the very end, get charms. For those of you that love the charms, we'll get charms with names and initials and specific details about who they are. There can be more than one person that comes through in your pile, and I will let you know if I feel like there is more than one energy coming through for you that's wanting to talk to you. If you get into the reading, though, and you're feeling, like, really confused, it doesn't sound right, that means it's not your reading, and you need to go back to the beginning, meditate on the piles again, and try a different pile, or you can try a different pick-a-card reading. I have a lot of pick-a-card readings on my channel that are timeless. Okay. So let's see, make sure to take only the specific details that are yours. Leave the ones that aren't for the, uh, the people that they're for. Okay. As long as the overall vibe of the pile that you chose feels like it's right for you. If it's resonating with you, then it is your reading. Okay. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading where I only tap into your energy because these are collective for a whole bunch of you at once. You can book that on my website. You can also purchase spiritual jewelry like these bracelets that you see here on my website, amysalter.com, or you can just click the link that is down below. That's also where you're going to find the timestamps for each pile that we have, okay? So whichever pile you choose, you can click on the timestamp. It'll take you directly to that pile. So let's pull a card for each pile first, and then we'll zoom in and look at everything in each pile. And then you guys can take your time after I pull all the cards, meditate on the piles, pause the video if you need to, just like look at the piles and feel which one you're most guided to using your intuition. So let's start with the cards for each pile spirit. If you don't like the shuffling, you can just fast forward through the shuffling parts. Pile number one. What is the card for pile one? Pile number two. What is the card for pile two, spirit? Pile three. What is the card for pile three, spirit? Hey, I messed up all the other cards, pile three. <laughs> pile three feels like the wild pile. Okay, pile four. Pile four almost did the same thing. Okay, let's get a close look at everything that we have here to choose from. So you might be drawn to this card here, this illustration. Kind of looks like a lotus flower down there at the bottom, like a lotus. And then there's like lots of lights and energy going on. This is the crown chakra, the ultimate self crown chakra card. If you want to pause it here and read the whole card, you can. So if you're feeling drawn to this artwork here or you might be drawn to that bracelet that is the dragon bracelet on my website it's made with rose red tiger's eye crystals it's a really pretty magenta color or you might be drawn to that glazed donut there that also has a pink frosting with sprinkles it kind of looks like a chocolate donut it's got like chocolate with pink glaze. Okay, so if you're drawn to any of those things or all three of those things, you are pile number one. 
pile two. This is the card that you got. There's three beans, three different types of beans together. Not beans, beans. <laughs> it sounds exactly the same. <laughs> three different figures. One of them is that like their heart chakra is opened up. This is the communication co-creation card. If you want to pause the video here, you can read all of that stuff right there if you would like. So you could be drawn to that artwork there, or you might be drawn to that bracelet. That is the mystic bracelet made with mystic aura quartz crystals. Or you could be drawn to the little pink hard candy that's all wrapped up in the little wrapper. If you're drawn to any of those things or all of those things, you are my pile number two, babes. Pile three. I love this one. She's like coming up out of the water. She's giving some mermaid vibes. There's also dolphins that have chakras on their back. There's lights behind her. It looks like things are all lit up behind her. It reminds me of like a neon sign right behind her. There's also um, flowers and leaves and different plants down below. And then up above her, there's like a pyramid. There's a lot going on in this card. This is the Life Force Energy card. You can pause it here and read if you want. So if you're drawn to that artwork, or you might be drawn to that bracelet there, that is my vision bracelet on my website. It's made with green Amazonite crystals. It's a very pretty aqua blue color. Or you could be drawn to the yummy cupcake with the little heart on top on the frosting. So if you're drawn to any of those things or all three of those things, you are pile three. All right, this is pile four. There's a serpent and wings and spirals and then there's the sun. Kind of reminds me of like the phoenix giving some phoenix type energy there okay and this is the sacral chakra card core of creation if you want to pause it here you can pause and read so you might be drawn to that card there or you could be drawn to this bracelet this is the divine protection bracelet made with snakeskin jasper I just want to hold this one up close because it's um, it's very pretty, but it's very unique type of crystals. It's like all different colors. Snakeskin Jasper. So you might be drawn to that bracelet there, or you could be drawn to this little ice cream cone. It kind of looks like cherry ice cream with a cherry on top. Or maybe strawberry ice cream with a cherry on top. If you're drawn to any of those things or all three of those things, you are pile three. I mean four, sorry. <laughs> Not three, four. Okay, you might have been drawn to pile number three though. If you guys do feel pulled to multiple different piles, uh, listen to all the ones that you're drawn to. So let's get into the reading now. We're ready to go. Let's see who wants to talk to you. Who's going to try to initiate a conversation with you, slide into your DMs, give you a phone call, approach you, and then if, initiate some sort of a talk. And what do they want to say? Here we go. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out who wants to talk to you, who's going to try to initiate a conversation, who's going to approach you and talk to you. Here we go. 
You guys can fast forward through the shuffling if you don't like it. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Nine of Wands. Who is this? <laughs> Pile number one. What the heck is this? The Four of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> There's someone here that you have established a bond with. But I feel like you might not really trust this person or you don't really know what their motives are. Uh, they... It feels like somebody, you, you've already established some sort of bond with this person in the past. So it's not like a new energy that's coming through here. And I am getting that it's just one person. It's someone from the past. But I feel like the trust has been broken between you two. So it could be vice versa where they don't trust you or you don't trust them. This is somebody that has gone back and forth about talking to you. Like they keep almost psyching themselves out of talking to you. Um, they get up in their head and they feel like it maybe isn't a good idea to talk to you again. This is somebody that feels like one of you was hurt by the other one in the past. For most of you, this person did things to you, toward you, that caused you to kind of have a guard up now or feel like you, you just can't trust this person or like you can't depend on them or there's, for a lot of you, it looks like that you are worried about this person like playing you or stringing you along or being dishonest with you in the future. And I feel like for most of you, it's because something happened in the past with them that caused you to kind of break the trust. But yeah, this person's like been going back and forth about wanting to talk to you. Well, uh, let's get some Oracle cards. <laughs> Who is this spirit? Whoa, that's like so many, but... I feel like this person has a lot of things that they want to talk to you about, but they've been like going back and forth for so long and up in their head about it. There is a lot that has been unsaid on their end. What are they? Their energy is weird. We got the Emperor, Temperance, and the Ladybug. It's almost like they feel like they don't really have another chance with you or it's going to take some major luck for things to work out. Like between the two of you, there would have to be some sort of huge change. This person has a vibe of kind of wishing things that were, were different between the two of you. Who is this? Okay. Yeah, this person is going to reach out eventually. They've gone back and forth, but it's just, it's like inevitable. It's only a matter of time before they actually reach out. Scorpio energy here with the death card. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, there's something about them like having hidden motives or maybe you feel like you kind of have to protect yourself from this person because you don't really know what their motives are. You don't really know exactly what they're doing. It, there, it, there's this feeling of distrust that I'm feeling. It, it's like it's coming from your end toward them. Like you don't really trust this person. For a lot of you, though, you, you have a lot of chemistry or you did at one point fireworks between the two of you really hot energy really sensual energy between you two that could still be going on even with the death card is a lot of like sensual energy as well this person's definitely very attracted to you 
And if you guys in the past, I feel like a lot of you guys in the past have done some sort of like making out intimate moments with this person, or you might have talked about it. There could have been some sex sting going on for some of you. Um, or physically a lot of touching with each other. This person has a lot of lust for you. They're also coming off as somebody that's pretty dominant. They have a vibe of being very dominant or opinionated, um, outspoken, very independent. They can have a tendency of being aggressive even. But I am getting this vibe of like, they're going back and forth about talking to you, but they're on the verge of, so I would expect you guys to hear from this person very soon after you hear this reading, um, cause they're on the verge of just coming toward you and saying something, taking that leap with the grasshopper here. They're hoping that things are going to work out between the two of you and not be in such a negative place anymore. It feels like there's negative stuff going on between you two right now because they want to lift the connection between you two out of the negative place that it's in. And they're hoping, they're wishing that that will happen, that they'll be able to do that by talking to you. But yeah, this person does um, have a tendency to be inauthentic or keeping a lot to themselves. They, ef they even have this facade about them. Okay. But yeah, they have a strong desire toward you. They have a strong, like, lusty energy. They feel like in the past between you two, there's been like this intense firework, explosive, naughty energy that they're feeling toward you. Not necessarily that you've felt that toward them, but on their end, they look at you as somebody that they want to spend some intimate time with. And it looks like they think about that a lot. Um, some of you, they want to have like makeup SEX with you. I have a Scorpio coming through for someone. Someone here, this person is an Aries. And for someone here, this person's a Sagittarius. But only take that if it resonates for you. That, that doesn't mean it's not your reading if they're not a Sag, Aries, or Scorpio. Okay. Let's get some more. Who is this? Who is this? Okay, whoever this is, is very interesting. They're very interesting, first of all. <laughs> you might find them interesting, or at one point you found this person very interesting. We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Whoever this is, they're really focused on work right now. They could have, like, a high-ranking job. They're coming through as an emperor and an official person. So they could be an entrepreneur, a boss, somebody that's trying to work their way up to financial success, career success. It looks like they're very focused on their success. Some of them are like trying to buy a home, save up money. Um, yeah, they're pretty material focused right now. They could have a very important job. Some of you, they could be military or ex-military. Or they're just like the leader. They're or they're working their way up to leadership position. Yeah, this person's super focused on their career path right now. They might have also had some sort of inheritance. I am getting someone here specific that that received like an inherit inheritance, a big promotion. 
Um, it could even be a Christmas bonus. But yeah, this person does have a lot of energy surrounding work. For some of you, you might actually work with this person or you have a connection through work with them. Okay, so you have the lovers and you have the four of wands, which is two cards about this person is like a really strong spiritual connection for you. Like there was some sort of destiny that had to happen for you guys to meet each other. You were meant to be in each other's lives person serves some sort of purpose for you it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys were meant to be together in the end like that you guys are definitely going to end up together it was just 11 11 I'm 11 minutes and 11 seconds into this reading pile number one and you got the 11 11 card so you could be seeing 11 11 a lot specifically pertaining to this person I am getting that is some sort of um, divine connection going on here. But like I said, that doesn't mean you're necessarily supposed to end up together for everybody. But I am getting for a lot of you. There's another union coming between you and this person in the future. It might be... It might be a while before you fully come into union with them like where things are stable between the two of you and long-term commitment type of vibes I am seeing that, that is a really strong possibility for the outcome between you two but it looks like the the energy that's going on right now between you two is uh, more non-committal so it doesn't feel like you guys are in a place where things are going to be really healthy and <clears throat> serious between the two of you anytime soon. It just looks like that might end up happening later on down the road. But you're going to have to get a private reading if you want to get really specific on that because it, it looks a little bit different for all of you. Some of you, this person's only meant to be in your life to teach you some lessons. Um, and they'll stay in these cycles with you and stay connected to your energy until you guys learn what you were meant to learn. But there is a big group of you where it looks like you guys are meant to be together eventually. You can probably feel it, too. I feel like a lot of you guys can feel which group you're in. If you feel like, um, you kind of feel like things might end up coming together eventually between you two. You've already had that feeling before. Who is this, spirit? Who is this that wants to talk to Pile One? This person holds back a lot with you right now. I keep getting that vibe from them. They've been holding back a lot. They keep a lot to themselves. They conceal a lot. They're very controlled with their emotions too. It's like they're purposefully not expressing certain emotions. They have passion, too. They have, like, passionate emotions, but it feels like they're keeping them to themselves. Withholding. See? Even shy energy. Yeah, they're withholding their feelings from you, pile number one. So there's things that they feel about you that they've never said, but you might actually feel it, like... You think that this person has certain feelings for you, but you might think, maybe I'm crazy or like, maybe I'm Delulu. <laughs> you guys might think that because this person withholds so much about what's actually going on with them. Yeah, so you guys might not feel like things are ever going to happen between you and this person because they've been 
too non-committal with you or they've been holding back too much it's like you might not see any potential here because of the way that they act beauty queen yeah there it is soulmates the lovers the four of wands yeah you guys have some sort of <laughs> destiny together you're meant to um, definitely come together in this lifetime more energy about work so there is a big group of you where you work together this could be somebody that is a co-worker or you guys have the same type of you're in the same field of work some of you used to work together some of you went to college together some of you this person like it's a little bit different for each situation some of you it's just that this person you guys don't have a connection through work but they're very much like material work focused right now focusing on their success uh, they could be doing a lot of overtime. A lot of their mind, their focus right now is on work. They find you super attractive. I, I, there's something about you that really turns this person on. They feel like a strong chemistry. They think you shine. They, they just really lust after you. Your physical appearance to this person is just very tempting seductive even if you don't mean to be you definitely seduce this person even if you don't mean to but again like all that seductive feeling they in that lust toward you and there's like an intense buildup of se actual tension that they're feeling they're keep they're still keeping it even if they've expressed a little bit to you how much they want to smush with you <laughs> how much they want to collide with you um they're still even holding back like even if they've said things that were really flirty or they've made any innuendos toward you in the past it was still actually kind of muddled down and not as intense as what they're actually feeling toward you. Like this person wants to rip your clothes off, basically. It's the vibe. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's get into the messages, you guys. So you should know exactly who this is by now. If you don't, this probably isn't your reading. And you might want to go back to the beginning and try a different pile. So let's get the messages now, pile. Too much competition because you look so good. See, this person thinks they got competition. There's other people that want you as well. So, yeah, they think you're looking fine and desirable by more than just them. So they realize that they're not the only ones that look at you like you're a beauty queen or a total hottie or really handsome, whatever it is that you are physically, you have like a really attractive physical appearance. This person feels like other people definitely notice that too and that they have competition. <laughs> they don't like that. Okay, messages. Mm -hmm. Wow. Lots of good energy here, you guys. Okay, I'm having wild thoughts about you wild naughty thoughts wild wild thoughts is that rihanna when i'm with you all i get is wild thoughts so they're doing some naughty fantasizing you guys might be actually feeling that telepathically you might be feeling them trying to connect with you in that way especially late at night i'm getting this person is rubbing one out thinking about you pile number one 
You intrigue this person so much. They find you very interesting. And they're also interested in what you're doing. But they have this vibe here. This is what I was talking about where it feels like maybe eventually you guys might end up together. But at this time, it doesn't feel like they're in a place where they could offer you some sort of a healthy, committed relationship. They're too wishy-washy. They also have some ego things that need to be worked on. They also have a vibe of not being super authentic when it comes to you. Like not wanting to be open and vulnerable. They want to hide a lot. They have deceptive energy. And it's they're not ready for commitment. Commitment scares them. But they can't stay away from you. They can't get over you. They can't stay away. They're stuck on you. I'm hearing that song. One of my spirit gui guides loves this song because they always sing this. It's that stuck on you. Got a feeling that I just can't lose. Guess I'm on my way. So this person's like on their way. They're on their way to approach you. They don't want you to forget about them. Don't forget about us. No baby, no baby. This person might have called you baby for some of you. You are the reason that I keep going. Interesting. So actually you do um, motivate this person a little bit. You make them want to make changes. You make them want to reach certain goals in their life. There's something about you that makes them want to make their wishes come true. You inspire them somehow. Um, you're inspiring to them or you inspired them in the past. This person thinks very highly of you. They have a lot, of, even if they don't show it, they actually do respect you as a person. Um, even if they act disrespectful toward you, it's like they know you deserve respect. And then there's something about your vibe where they can't stay away. They want to keep this connection going between the two of you. They can't let it go. They can't just let you go. Um, they also worry about you being with somebody else because they don't like that. They feel like there's competition around of other people that might come snatch you up. Aw. I miss being around you. Aw. You guys. I don't know. I feel like some of you guys are just really leery about this person. But they do have a sweet energy toward you. But like I said, it's very hidden. And it just feels like they're not ready to really open up. They're so curious about you, though. They, they think you're so interesting. They like talking to you. They like hearing the way you think. A lot of you, they like looking at your social media to see like what you're posting, what you're talking about. They find you super interesting. And for my funny babes out there, my clowns, they think you're really funny. <laughs> okay. I know a lot of you are funny because your comments in my comment section get me. I do read them. I love when you guys comment. And some of y'all are funny as hell. I love it. All right, let's get some songs. Yeah, beautiful. Of course, that song comes out. Look. Beauty Queen and Beautiful by Bozzy. Mm-hmm. This person... The attract the physical attraction because there is feelings there too, but the physical attraction that this person has towards you is like ridiculous. Like, geez, calm down. <laughs> They're oh yeah, like the, it's almost like they can drool over you. I'm getting this vibe of like drooling over you. Dang, pile one, my little hotties. This is definitely the hottie pile. Hey, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at how many times he says it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful queen. You are a queen. You are so, you are shining. 
you're a beautiful angel. I love your imperfections every angle. So it's like this person doesn't think you're perfect, but like everything about you turns them on. Even the things that are imperfections in your own eyes, it feels like the things that you don't like about yourself, this person is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see anything about you that I would want to change. You are perfect from every angle. Everything about you, even the things that you consider flaws, pile number one, this person is like lusting after. It says tomorrow comes and goes before you know, so I just had to let you know. Yeah, this person is going to, like they've been holding back. They've been being wishy-washy about striking up a conversation with you, initiating a conversation, but they're starting to feel like they don't want to miss an opportunity. Tomorrow comes and goes before you know, so I got to let you know now. Like, I don't want to waste any more time. I don't want to lose my chance. My Love by Justin Timberlake. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting in the grass, laying side by side. You can be my baby. Yeah, someone here, this person called you baby in the past. That was their nickname for you. Very specific for someone here. This person is visualizing doing cute little couple things with you. They're like fantasizing about doing these cute little couple things with you where you guys are having alone time together where you can just talk and be close to each other go to the beach lay in the grass sitting side by side I'm getting like lots of cuddling wanting to cuddle with you that's this energy <clears throat> wanting to make out And then we got Sledgehammer. They also want to give you that Sledgehammer, if you know what I'm saying. By Peter Gabriel. Show me around your fruitcakes. This person likes that booty, pile number one. <laughs> Show me around your fruit fruitcakes. Because I will be your honey bee. Open up your fruitcakes. Ew. Where the fruit is as sweet as can be. Okay. This person wants to get real naughty. That has been the vibe from the beginning of this reading and it's just getting more and more intense. I feel like the, the tension, the S E actual tension, like I told you coming from this person is so intense. I want to be your sledgehammer. Why don't you call my name? <laughs> this person likes to hear you like moan their name or they want to hear you moan their name. Okay. I, I feel so close by Calvin Harris. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. That's this vibe. Let's see how those two energetic balls of energy are just attracted to each other. It's like a force field. I wear my heart upon my sleeve like a big deal. Your love pours down on me surrounds me like a waterfall i do feel like this person has thought about opening up to you a little bit it feels like they're not gonna open up a lot but it feels like they they want to express a little bit more than they have before because they've been keeping a lot concealed and it feels like it's building up to the point where they just want to drop their guard because they're super guarded. That, that um, Nine of Wands energy. It's like they never completely let you in. But now they're getting to the point where... The vibe from you is making them want to open up. There's some sort of vibe that you put out. Whether you mean to or not. It could even be like pheromones or something. And they're just like drawn to you. And it's making them want to do things that they've never done with other people. But it, like I said, it feels like it's going to take this person a while to get to that point where they're in like a healthy space of opening up and having a healthy, stable, long-term relationship, if that's what you're looking for. 
And then we got Rihanna. Rihanna came through twice in this reading, so Rihanna could resonate for someone here. Rihanna is a Pisces baby, just like me. You the one by Rihanna. You know how to give me that. You know how to pull me back. <laughs> That's that. See how there's those lines there, like pulling the energy toward each other. So something about you just like, they can't hold back. You pull them back in. When I go run, running, running, trying to get away from loving you, you know how to love me hard. I won't lie, I'm falling hard. Wow, pile number one. That's that lover's energy, and that's why I was saying, like, it feels like you guys might eventually be together just because of the vibe that I feel between you two. Um, it almost feels like you're meant to eventually come together. It's just the timing is off right now. This person is not ready. You probably have things that you need to do, too, before you're ready to be in complete union with this person. But, yeah, I am getting that... Um, they're kind of, they're catching a vibe from you that's definitely more intense than what they felt with anybody else ever. Okay, so let's get into the charms now, now that we're at the end of the reading, and see the specific details for those of you that like that. Only take these details if they are for you, leave them for who they're for. If it's not resonating with you, I have somebody here that was born October 24th. Their birthday is October 24th. I have someone here that had a baby in 2006. They had a child in 2006. I have someone here with the birthday of April 21st that's coming through. There's someone here with the birthday of November 14th for someone here. I'm also getting somebody born in 1986. There is, oh wow. One of you guys met this person in 2011, the year two, you, so you've known them for quite a while. You guys met in 2011. That's for someone here. All right, we got first and last initials. So this can be in their first name. This can be in their last name. Your initials might come up as well. And then I'm gonna do names and your initials or name can come up as well if it's your pile, okay? So we have first or last name starting with a G. First or last name starting with an A. Something about going to a gas station is going to resonate for one of you. Being at a gas station or maybe running into each other at the gas station. Something about a gas station. Okay. First or last name starting with an A. First or last name starting with an S. First, last name starting with an O. A Y. An X. And for a lot of you guys, you dated this person in the past. For some of you, this you guys were actually in a relationship with them before. You've been in a relationship with them before. We have some tattoos here. Someone has a flamingo tattoo. You guys could have these tattoos as well, the person that's watching. Someone has a gecko tattoo. Somebody has a dragonfly, a cross, a star a pegasus, a music note tattoo, a horseshoe tattoo, tattoo of a bluebird specifically. I'm also getting um, doves are coming through really strong. So there's something significant with doves for somebody because we got the doves in this card here and then you literally have the dove um, charm. So someone could have a dove tattoo or doves could be 
significant. Yeah, this person's very focused on their wealth, their um, income, their career, building wealth, building a legacy. Someone here has a tattoo of a bat. I'm getting that you guys trigger each other a lot. You and this person um, could trigger each other a lot. You mirror each other, but it's like you mirror back the things that you don't want to see about yourselves. This person could, could also do a lot of projecting. It feels like they're in a place where they need to evolve a little bit, whoever this is. Um, yeah, definitely could be your ex. There's a connection to Paris. There's a connection to France for someone. I'm getting someone specific here that is like a celebrity or has a lot of fans. They're a celebrity or they have a lot of fans. Oh, my candle just went out. Someone has fans or maybe a large following on social media. There's something about Chinese food coming through. I'm also getting sushi. This could be like something that you guys went and ate together or you know that it's their favorite food. I'm getting somebody that is lactose intolerant coming through. There's stuff about foods. Um, I'm getting like Asian cuisine. Could have gone to an Asian restaurant. Yeah, I'm getting something about like soy sauce. Okay. Okay, let's do the names now. We're going to Spirit tell us what are the specific names coming through? Yolanda just came through and Yvette came through. We have George, Greg, Grace, Gloria, Gabe or Gabriel, Glenn, Gail, Gavin. Someone here could be from Georgia or live in Georgia. Gordon and Gina. Gabriella, Garrett, Jean, Gilbert, last names could also be coming through as well, Glenn, Gwen, Genevieve, Grayson, Guy, Giovanni, Graham, Grayson, did I already, see, did that one come through? I feel like that came through already. Grayson, Grayson's just coming through really strong. Gazelle, Ginger, Greg is coming through again. Gia, Jillian, or Gil Gillian. Gina, Gino. Geraldine, AJ. Andy, Angela, Anna, Andrea, Adam. Aaron, Alex, Abby, Austin, I'm also getting Austin, Texas, Angel, Amber, Alexis, Ann, Allison, Alan, Adrian, Antoine, Antonio, 
Owl. I'm getting something about Aldi. Isn't that a grocery store? We don't have that where I'm at in the Pacific Northwest, but there could be a connection to the store Aldi. Al Al Aldi? Is that, I don't know. How, I don't even know how to say it, you guys. <laughs> it's just being channeled, so I don't know. Annette is here. Aubrey is here. Addison. Alejandro. Angelina. Ariana, Ashton, Abraham, Angelo, Armando, Ar Armundo, Aurora, Aria, Angie, Abby, I think I already said Abby, Abel, Anastasia, Ashley, Adriana, Azu Azil, Azus. I got Chandra, Chandra, something like that. Shauna, Shaniqua. Sophia, Shannon, Sean, Stephen, or Steve, Stefan, Sam, Sydney, Seth, Sophia, Stanley, or Stan, Shane, Sue, Sabrina, Spencer, Sylvester, Skyler, Sergio, Santiago, Stuart. That reminds me of Stuart. Let me do it. What was that from? Mad TV? That's an old show. Sonia, Sawyer, Sullivan. Like I said, last names could come through. Your name can come through. Salvador, Sheila, Sherman. Sterling, Sheldon, Solomon, Savannah. I'm also getting Savannah, Georgia coming through. Isn't Georgia coming through a lot? Shane. Oh, we already said Shane. Shayla. And any other S names? Spirit? Smith. That's like. Yeah, Smith. And Owen is here. Oli. Owen, Oli. Orlando. That could also be Orlando, Florida. Ophelia. I'm getting that song. Oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind. Just like a drug. Yeah, this person's like obsessed with you right now. Orion, Orion, Odell, Oscar, Oliver, Omar, Odin. There could be a connection to Odin, the um, crow. Um, I'm also getting Orioles. Isn't that a baseball team? The or the Orioles? Oli? Oakley? Orion? I'm getting something about an oral 
uh, maybe like a dentist or an oral hygienist. That could be their, their job. Ozzy. They could really like Ozzy Osbourne too, or the last name Osbourne. Omar. Okay. O'Neill. O'Connor. O'Henry. Isn't that a candy bar? Maybe that's their favorite candy bar. O'Henry. Yeah, Yolanda's here very strongly. Yara. Yvonne. Yasmin. 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 Yolanda. Jessica. Young, last name Young. Yeah, Yance or Yancey. Yale, well, there could be a connection to the University Yale or the name Yale. Yeah. Yezreel, Yezreel, Johanna, Yoshi, Javier, Xander, Oxidal, Javier. Zena is coming through. Zaya. Okay. I think that's it for you guys. And wow, this is a long reading. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Smash the thumbs up if you like this kind of reading. You can book a private reading with me if you want to do one where we just get into your energy on my website, amysalter.com. That's also where you can purchase bracelets. If you were drawn to any other pile, go check it out. And if you're done here, I will see you all at your next reading. Bye, babies. Hi, pile two. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out who wants to talk to you right now. We're going to start with some tarot cards, and then we'll get into the oracle cards, and then we'll get the messages to find out what is this person thinking about saying before they initiate this conversation with you. And then we'll get some charms at the very end to get the really specific details for those of you that love that. So, pile two. Who wants to talk to you right now? Who wants to initiate a conversation with Pile 2 Spirit? Oh. The lovers? Okay. Six of Wands, the lovers, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Two of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, well, whoever this is, they're very interested in you. They are definitely focused on you. It feels like it's somebody that has seen you out in public, or they've seen you in, like, their group of friends, or you guys have, you've, like, seen each other out in the community. If you haven't seen each other out in the community, it's like they're looking for you when they're out. They're keeping an eye out to see if they see you. They're very interested in you. They're a little bit nervous about talking to you, but they've already decided that they want to. 
this person sees you as somebody that they could like partner up with somebody that would make a good lover like they think that you would be good in a long-term relationship they see you as very like high value this person likes a lot about you I don't know how they know things about you they either know you or they've asked around about you and it's like the things that they know they they really like they like the kind of person that you are They're kind of nervous, though. You make them a little bit nervous. They're looking at you as, like, somebody that they could be with for a long time. Somebody that they could keep in their life for a really long time. Like, they want you to stay around or stick around. It's like they feel like you would be really good together, too. They have this idea in their mind about things working out between the two of you. They're very optimistic about a connection between you two. Yeah, definitely expect to hear from this person. This person isn't just thinking about talking to you. They're very motivated to talk to you even though they're nervous it's like they already decided they're definitely going to say something they're definitely going to initiate something with you and they're hoping that it will go well and um they, they have a little bit of intimidation about like you could be somebody that's very successful you could be somebody that is um different from what they're used to as far as the people that they've been with in the past. It's like you're not their usual type, but it's in a way where you're even better. They're looking at you as being better than anybody they've ever been interested in before. You have some sort of vibe about you, pile number two. Some of you guys are like single mothers or you take care of a family member. You could be a caretaker. I'm also getting nurse vibes for some of you, but only take that if it resonates. That doesn't mean it's not your reading if it doesn't resonate. Who is this spirit? Who is this that wants to talk to Pyle to? The Wheel of Fortune, the Geese, the Falcon, the Tower. Hmm, well they weren't expecting to feel this way about you or maybe you guys met unexpectedly. The Star, yeah you have all all the qualities that this person is looking for in a lover you check off a lot of boxes for them as far as um like your vibe your personality your lifestyle it's like they feel like you guys would do well together they feel like you're really stable they feel like you're somebody that's very responsible They feel like you're very secure, too. Like you're not an insecure person. They feel like you're somebody that's like really smart and you have opinions about things that are very intelligent. They think you're really cool. They feel like you're a very like dependable, reliable, solid person. Like very stable. So maybe in the past, because they're... They're looking at you as being so different than anybody else they've ever dated or been with. So it's almost like the people in the past that they've dealt with have been very unstable. They couldn't depend on them. They weren't responsible people. Um, there could have been a lot of drama in the past with people. Um, 
this person feels like you're the first one that they've met or that they've had any sort of encounter with that is actually like high quality. They feel like you're high value, high quality. Very cool person, very smart person. They feel like you have really good ideas. They feel like you're not afraid to say how you feel. Like they feel like you're somebody that's assertive. Um, you got, you're kind of opinionated, but they like that. Um, they also feel like you're somebody that has a lot of positivity too. You're, you're not somebody that's super negative or low vibe. They're very curious to know more about you. They think you're really smart, creative, clever, resourceful person just like has a lot of respect for you they feel like they've found things in you that they're never going to find in anybody else and it makes them want to keep you around like for sure it's almost like it makes it so clear to them that they want you in their life just because they know there's nobody else like you They've encountered other people. I feel like they have experiences in the past. And so they're they're feeling like there's nobody else that is going to be as good of a match for me and have all these qualities that pile number two has. Because I've seen it. They're, they're like, I've seen it all. I've experienced other people. And nobody else has been like this. There's something about you that is so different in a good way. They're really focused on you and hoping that you guys are either gonna work out or be together in the future. If this person is long distance, cause I am getting that there's a group of you where there's distance between the two of you, they'd have to actually relocate to be with you. They're, they've thought about that. They've thought about having to travel to see you or to relocate. They have this really strong urge to have like a passionate beginning of something with you, a passionate conversation. They feel really lucky to have come into contact with you. They feel like you guys could grow together and um, make each other's lives even better than they already are. This person feels like they have a pretty good life right now already. And they feel like you are very successful. They're looking at you as being like super successful. What are you guys doing pile two? <laughs> this person sees you as being like a boss, babe. Somebody that knows how to get what you want. They, they see you as somebody that takes really good care of yourself. They almost have like a possessive energy over you though. Like they, they want you all to themselves. They feel like you've either gained a lot of success or you're going places and you're going to eventually have a lot of success. They feel like you have like a lot of skills, a lot of um, unique abilities. This person's obsessed with you, Pile 2. What is going on? Let's get some more about who this is. Who is this spirit? They weren't expecting all these feelings. Okay, this person could have some health issues, but I'm getting for most of you, there's someone around them, like a parent or a child that has been sick recently. So that could be how you know who they are. Um, for someone really specific here, this person works in the health healthcare field. Or you do. We got Journey. Get back up there. Oh, 
poverty. Unexpected income. Interesting. This person started out maybe in childhood or the past few years um, having some financial difficulties. So they've either had financial difficulties in their life in the past few years or they grew up poor. It feels like if they've had struggles with finances, those have recently come to an end. Or if they grew up poor, they ended up changing that as they became an adult. They ended up um, becoming like new money, you know, like they never had money before, but now they do. This person gets stressed about money. I am feeling that. They have a high stress when it comes to finances because at one point they didn't have a lot. So they got a little bit of a lack mindset, but it looks like they, whoever they are, they have um, increased their finances. It feels like they grew up poor for, mo for most of you. Um... They remember where they came from. So this this feels like somebody where once they become successful, they want to help people that are less privileged because they've been through that in the past. And um, this person could like to do a lot of charity or they could have that on their mind of what they want to do in the future. I'm getting philanthropy and charity work. Or this person, if they never had money issues, for some of you, this person didn't actually have money issues, but they are just a very giving person. Um, this is somebody that gives to the poor. This is somebody that signs up during Christmas time to buy gifts for a child that's left less fortunate, something like that. This person has a very strong caretaker type of energy. Like I said, they could work in the medical field. Um, they could work in a field that deals with helping the less fortunate or they could volunteer or they could have volunteered for that type of thing in the past. I'm getting a very empathetic energy from this person. It feels like they're really sweet. It feels like this person has a good heart. Oh, I'm getting chills. Yeah, this person has a really good heart. I feel like they like to help people. This person could be really big into giving people gifts, even unexpected. It's like they like to surprise people. They might have done that with you or they might end up doing that with you in the future where they um, do something really nice for you just, just because um, or they buy you something just because. This person is somebody that likes to travel as well. Or they could be um, somebody that moved from where they grew up. Like they don't live where they grew up anymore is what I'm getting for a lot of them. Or they might travel for work. I'm getting a lot of travel here. Or I'm getting somebody that relocated. Um, their parents might be immigrants for some of you or they moved from a different state. For some of you, this person has relocated a lot. Uh, they've moved multiple times. Just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't because this is a collective reading for a whole bunch of you. So I'm getting a few different scenarios because they're not all exactly the same. Okay, let's get more. Who is this? Who is this? Yeah, this person went through something in the past. It might not have been poverty for some of you. It could have been a situation that they were stuck in for a long time that was um, really difficult, but it taught them a lot of tough lessons. 
Some of them just had like a horrible childhood. They weren't necessarily poor as children, but they had really or have really controlling parents. Um, I'm getting some childhood stuff with this person. So it feels like you might know about their childhood or know something about their childhood after you guys start talking. You might end up hearing in the near future after you watch this reading about something about their childhood when this per because this person's coming to talk to you so they might talk about their childhood and the struggles that they used to have how their parents were um this person is really drawn to talking to you for sure like communication is the first card coming out there so they want to either call you or message you or connect with you online for most of you like they don't want to do it in person even if they see you in person it feels like they might just try to find you online and message you so they don't have to initiate this conversation face to face it feels like if they can find you online they will or if they have your number they're going to call or text you this is somebody that's very laid back. They could be blonde or redhead for some of you. Um, or you could be a blonde redhead and that's their type. You know, they really like that. But yeah, I'm getting that this person is pretty chill. They're coming across as somebody that's very cool too. Because they're looking at you as really cool. <laughs> and they're coming across as being a cool person too. Like you guys are both really good people is what I'm seeing here. It's like you guys are both stable. You might not know this person very well. For some of you, it could be somebody that you don't know very well yet. If you do already know this person well, it's like maybe you haven't talked for a while and they have a lot of things that they want to fill you in on. They want to tell you that they have made positive changes in their life if you know this person already they're they're wanting to like tell you exciting news about some changes in their life or some things that um were difficult for them in the past that they've overcome it's like they have these achievements that they they want to share with you they want to share their good news with you yeah i'm getting something about Red hair for someone, blonde hair, light, light hair, light colored hair. Okay, let's get the messages because you guys should know who this is by now. If you don't know who it is and you're really confused, go back to the beginning and try another pile. What does this person want to say? I'm talking about you to others. Okay. What does this person want to say? <laughs> Give us one more. There it is. Okay. Yeah, they're they're a little bit nervous about striking up this conversation with you. I am getting anxiety when it comes to being ready to initiate this communication. They're not feeling ready. They're feeling really anxious, but they're feeling pressured to do it. Like they feel like they should, and they feel bad about this. They're, they're like being hard on themselves about the fact that they're holding back so much with you. They feel like it's not really fair to you for them to be holding back so much. They're just like talking to other people about this right now rather than you. And it's like they know that that's not going to get them anywhere. That they need to actually approach you and have a conversation with you instead of talking to everybody else and listening to everybody else's opinions about what they should do. But they're just like not feeling ready. They're, they're really scared. But they're super attracted to you. They're scared of their emotion. Like they're scared to get hurt. This person is scared of vulnerability they're they got an emotional unavailability 
vibe to them so it's like hard for them to open up it's hard for them to put themselves in a vulnerable position and they feel like they shouldn't be that way but it's like they can't help it they wish they weren't feeling like this but they are feeling like this they feel like they're not handling this the best way they could when it comes to talking to you they're super nervous and it's like they're being hard on themselves about it they also feel like there's a lot of other people that are interested in you too so there's like this urgency even though they're not ready and even though they're trying to like just wait and kind of put things off with you and they'd rather just talk to other people about it rather than putting themselves out there shooting their shot with you like they they wish they could just stop feeling this way but they're very motivated right now to not waste any time because they're feeling like there's competition. There's other people that are going to want you. You're not going to be available forever or they're not going to have a chance to talk to you again in the future. They're like feeling like they need to seize the moment and talk to you right now or in the near future while they can because they might not have an opportunity later on. But... It's, it's like they're going back and forth. They're all up in their head, psyching themselves out. Because when they get to the point where they're feeling like, I need to say something before I lose my chance. I need to take control of this situation. There's something here about this person having a hard time being vulnerable with the emotions. Because it feels like they might lose some control over things if they do that. When they're vulnerable... There's like a loss of control of the situation. They like to be in control to the point where they don't communicate well. To the point where they don't open up as much as they should. So it's like they're going back and forth about, do I just let go of this control? Because they're trying to suppress things. They're trying to hold back when it comes to talking to you. They're trying to get a whole bunch of different opinions from people about what they should do. It's making them feel out of control. There's something about you that makes them feel like flustered. almost intimidating I just heard nerve wracking too okay let's get some songs what are the songs for pile two Mmm. Interesting. This person has a vibe of wanting to like make things official with you fairly quickly. Like once they start talking to you, it's like they'd want to start dating you right away. They'd want to start moving toward you two being in something really committed. They would want to make it official and they would want to like introduce you to their friends and family and they're thinking very seriously about you. Call out my name. We found each other. I helped you out of a broken place. You gave me comfort, but falling for you was my mistake. So this person, like I said, they feel lucky to have found you. They feel lucky to have met you. They feel like they would be lucky to be able to be with you. This person feels like you've come from a difficult past as well. Because we were talking about their childhood. 
And it's like this person knows something about you that you've gone through a tough time yourself or maybe you had a difficult childhood yourself and they know that or that you just went through some really stressful situations in your life and they want to be there for you. This person is so caring. Like they want to like, they just like taking care of people. They like helping people. Um, they're wanting to make your life better too. So they like spoiling people. And you're one of the people that they want to do that with. They feel like you would be somebody that um, they could feel comfortable with. They feel like they really trust you. Like you're a trustworthy person that is sweet and kind. And you guys are both cute. <laughs> both of the energies I'm getting. The energy from them is really sweet and cute. And I'm also getting that they think that you're like that too. So hopefully you are <laughs> falling for you. Yeah, this person's falling for you and they're, they're scared to do that. They're scared to fall in love. This is somebody that they have some emotional unavailability and they don't feel ready because they're scared because they feel like they'll lose control to fall for it. Like falling for someone means I'm going to lose control. I feel like they've had some sort of tumultuous relationships in the past as well. So we have, you got it bad. This person's got it bad by Usher. I'm your man. You're my girl. I'm going to tell it to the whole wide world. That's this energy here. Six of wands, like making things public. This is somebody that would want to like post you on their social media after you guys get together and make things official. They're going to be like posting in a relationship with pile number two and telling their friends and telling their family. Like I said, this is somebody that wants you to meet their family, meet their friends. They want to show you off. They'd be proud to be with you. They're like excited for you to be around their friends and family, stuff like that. We got, I'm a sucker for pain. By Lil Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, Imagine Dragons. I torture you, take my hand through the flames. I torture you, I'm a slave to your games. I'm just a sucker for pain. I want to chain you up. I want to tie you down. That's this energy. And this. They want to lock you down. They want to cut. This person wants to cuff with you. Like they want to make it official with you um after you guys start talking their idea is to make things like serious and official they also have a dominant energy when it comes to the bedroom this is somebody that likes to be dominant they might be into a little bit of bdsm but you would never guess it it's almost like they're a sweetheart in the streets and a freak in the sheets whoever this person is you might look at them and not expect, because of just the way they look, that they would be kind of freaky deaky, but I am getting that they are. Um, or they might want you to be dumb. Take it as it resonates. This person's into either being dominant with you or switching back and forth. We got beautiful. The way that dress falls off you is amazing. This person's been imagining, like, slowly taking your clothes off. Love a miracle, a beautiful creation. Like I said, they feel lucky to have met you um, because there's something really unique and special about you. You're amazing. They think you're a very beautiful creation. Baby, come a little closer and let me taste it. Ooh, 18 plus energy. <laughs> and we got Careless Whisper by George Michael. I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. This person might not 
be a very good dancer, by the way. For some of you, you might know them by, like, they're, they're a horrible dancer. Though it's easy to pretend, I know you're not a fool. This person does think you're very smart, very intelligent. They might, I feel like for some of you, they, f they think you know that they're really interested in you. Um, I shouldn't, I should have known better than to cheat a friend and waste the chance that I'd been given. See, they don't want to hold back so much that they miss their chance. That's what we were talking about. Like, they don't want to waste their chance. You guys could have mutual friends too. There's something coming up about friends group. That could be who they're talking to about you too because they're talking to others about you. There's a connection through your friends or you guys have mutual friends here. All right, let's do the charms. For those of you that like the charms, here we go. We're gonna get initials and names and specific details about who this is. Take these details if they resonate for you and leave them for who they're for if they aren't resonating with you. If they don't resonate, that doesn't mean it's not your reading. As long as the overall vibe of the reading matches your situation, it is still your reading. We have JJ coming through. We have PJ coming through. We have BJ coming through. A little sucky sucky. We got um, JP. BJ. <laughs> Spirit, stop it. Okay. First or last name starting with a P. This person could have two J's in their name. They could have a J in their first name and a J in their last name. Or double J in their first or last name. We have somebody that has a first or last name starting with a B. First last name starting with a J. Z, N, there is a, what's this one? Aquarius? Yeah, there's an Aquarius here for someone. We have a Taurus here for somebody. We have a Scorpio coming through for someone. There's a Virgo here for somebody. There's a Libra here for somebody. This person is, they are trustworthy. It's somebody that you can trust. This person is not like a liar or a game player or anything like that. They're very passionate about you. This is a person that's very practical they think pra practical thinking. They can be very charming too. They have a really charming side to them. We're gonna do names in, in a second. I'll do names last, okay? So we'll get the different names that come through. I'm getting somebody that's into fashion or just like dressing really nice, buying really high quality clothes. I'm getting somebody that has a tattoo of an evil eye. I'm getting somebody with a tattoo of the eye of Horus. I'm getting somebody that's a mechanic or knows how to work on cars that's coming through here. Somebody that really likes to barbecue or cook. Specifically meats. I'm getting somebody that likes to like cook steaks or likes to cook burgers or maybe they do that for a living 
There's someone here that travels a lot. Yeah, that traveling thing keeps coming through. Journey, travel. They might have to travel for work. I am getting a pilot here. Somebody's dealing with a pilot. I'm also getting somebody that like moved or relocated or lives in a different state than they grew up in. Or you guys are long distance from each other and you'd have to take a plane to see each other or travel for hours. Some of you guys are like overseas from each other. I'm getting a teacher, somebody that teaches or an instructor, somebody that's an instructor coming through. A handyman, I'm getting a plumber. I'm getting an electrician. Yeah, there's someone that works in um, the deli. Somebody that works in a butcher shop. Or maybe they like to go to the deli, the butcher shop. I'm getting Italian vibes big time right now. I just heard Jim Tan Laundry, so maybe this person goes to the gym every day. There could be a connection to feathers. Someone could have a feather tattoo. I'm also getting a, a tattoo with an anchor, a tattoo with a stag or a deer. I'm seeing a tattoo of a whale or a whale tail. I'm also getting something about Puget Sound coming through. This person wants to talk to you right now. I, I, Their energy is coming toward you very quickly. So I would expect to hear from this person really soon after this reading. They could have really nice teeth. I'm getting something about nice teeth. Oh, we got the... Did we... Was that this pile? Oral high hygienist maybe that was pile number one I think oral hy dental hygienist was coming through pile one and it's coming through again so maybe you watched pile number one as well I'm also getting Native American heritage coming through I'm getting something about the Navy, so someone here could have been in the Navy. Deep sea fishing, I'm getting a connection to Alaska as well. Crabbing, boating. I'm also getting like boating on a lake. A connection to going boating on a lake. I got some country energy coming through too, so somebody could wear like cowboy boots or a cowboy hat, grew up on a farm, grew up in the country out by lots of farms, or they live on acreage right now, they could live on a farm right now. This person has gone through some recent transformations, so they've had some recent changes in their lives, like major changes. Like I said, there, there could be a loved one that is in really bad health. Okay, are we ready for names, spirit? Are we ready for names? This person loves to, they, they like love love. They love showing love to people. They like giving out their love. We have somebody here that was born August 21st. And there's someone here that was born in 2001. Okay, so let's see. What are the names, Spirit? Um, they could be a junior, like named after their father. I'm getting the name Paul coming through. Pam, Pamela, Phil. Philip, Paula, Patricia, P 
page last names can come through and your name might also come through your pile just because I'm picking up on your energy. Pauline, Parker, Peyton. There could be a connection to the Presleys, like Elvis Presley, Priscilla Presley. We have Preston coming through, Pedro, Penelope, last name Perry. Pablo, Paulette, Paris, Percy, Polly, that, that could also be like polyamory, some of you guys could be Polly, Prince, um, that could be like their favorite artist, their music artist, Prince, Porter, Pierre, Pierce, Palmer, Patience, Portia. Hey, I love Portia <laughs> on The Real Housewives. <laughs> there could be a connection to The Real Housewives. Um, Princeton. Isn't that a university? Princeton University? Penny? Price? Somebody could actually drive a Porsche. Have a Porsche. Portofino? Piper, Pepper, and Parish just came through as well. Ben is coming through. Beverly, also Beverly Hills. Brian is here. Brandon is here. Brad, Bradley, Bobby, Bob, Bruce, Billy, Brittany. Brianna, Brooke, Blake. There could be a connection to Bernie Sanders for someone here. Bernie, um, Bill, Billy, Brett, Barry, Beth. Brayden. Bailey, Brooklyn, it could also be Brooklyn, New York as a synchronicity or confirmation, Brandy, Bethany is here, Brady is here, Brendan, Bridget, Bianca, Becky, Byron, Bella, Bryson, Bernadette, Bentley, that could also be the car that they drive, Bentley, Bo is here, Bryant, Brock, Brooks, uh, there are so many Real Housewives um, synchronicities coming through, so there could definitely be some sort of connection to the Real Housewives for someone watching pile number two. Bradford, Blaine, Blair, Brantley, Brielle, that is from the Real Housewives too. This is crazy. What is <laughs> what is the connection with the Housewives show? Of course, you guys got the J names. <laughs> Pile number two, you guys got the J names. You know what that means. Ugh, my other candle went out. 
Okay, we got James coming through. We have John here. Joe, Joseph is coming through. Jen, Jessica, Josh, Jason. Jacob is here. This is going to be a long one, you guys. There's a lot of J's. There's a lot of J's coming through. Jose is coming through. Justin's here. Jordan is here. Janet, Julie, Joyce, Juan, Julia, Jesse, Judy, Jane, Jeremy, Jimmy. I'm also getting Jimmy Johns, so there could be a connection to the restaurant Jimmy Johns. Joel is here. Jackson, that could be their last name as well. Jasmine, Jillian, Jesus, Jeremiah, Jerome, Jean, Jill, Juanita, Jared, Jamal, Jim, somebody that wears Jordans all the time, Josiah, Jake, Jocelyn, Javier, Jade, Jenny, Jaden, Jacqueline, Julio, Jordan again, Jordan coming through twice, Jada, there could be a connection to Jada Pinkett, Janice, Jasper, Jameson, they could drink Jameson, okay, any other J names, Spirit, that was a lot of J names, Zach is here, Zachary, Zoe, Zane, Zion, Xander, Zara, Zachariah, Zaid, Zena, Zoya, Zada, Zaya, Zaneda, Zayla, Zeb, Zeta, Zakaya, Zavian, Nicholas, Nick, there could be a connection to Christmas too because I'm getting Saint Nicholas and I'm also getting reindeer, connection to reindeer, Norman, Naomi, Nora, Nina, Norma, Natalie, Nathan, Neil, Nelson, Natasha, Nicole, Nadia, Nikki, Nehemiah, Oh wow, that's a that's a new I don't think that one's ever come through. Nehemiah Nash Nicolette Nico Nazir Nita Nikita Nigel Nico I think I already said Nico. I'm always mad at Spirit when they say the same name twice. 
I'm like, I already said that. <laughs> Newton, Napoleon, Nelly, Nancy, Nevin, Novella, Nomad, no, Norman, 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 Noreen, okay, that's it, that's all I'm getting, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, if you felt drawn to any other pile, definitely check it out. Uh, there could be more messages for you in another pile. That does happen with a lot of my collective. Smash the thumbs up if you like this kind of reading and you want me to do more like it in the future. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one so we can just check on your specific energy because these are collective readings for a whole bunch of you. You can do that on my website, amysalter.com. The link for that is down below in the drop-down box. If you just click on the title of this video, you'll see it down there. All right, that's also where you can buy bracelets, spiritual jewelry, like the bracelets that you saw on this, the ones that I'm wearing, and the one that you chose for pile number three, or pile number two, sorry, maybe you were drawn to pile number three, you should go check it out if you were. Have I been calling you guys pile number three? If I have, I'm sorry. But there's definitely feeling like a connection to pile number three, so if you felt drawn to that one, let's go listen to that one. Here we go. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out who wants to talk to you right now, who wants to initiate a conversation. We're going to start with who they are, and then we'll get into messages from them to see what do they want to say. And then we'll get some songs to get the vibe from them. And then we'll get charms at the very end for those of you that like this really specific details about what are their names, what are their initials, really specific things about them. Okay, here we go, pile three. Who wants to talk to you, pile three? Uh-oh. Three of swords. Ten of pickle. Okay, I'm feeling two people here. Yeah, one of them is a zaddy or a king of pentacles energy. It's okay. Yeah, there's two energies coming through really strongly for you. Or it's one person that has a really strong duality. They could be a Gemini or they are like one way one day and a different way the next day. So take it as it resonates for you. There's a group of you where this is two people and there's a group of you where it's one person that has like two different personalities. Okay. So I'm getting... There's someone here that feels like they've hurt you in the past and they want to talk to you. They feel like they broke your heart. They feel like they hurt your feelings. They did something devastating that affected you in a very negative way. There's someone here that's like not been making any move toward you. They haven't been contacting you. They haven't been messaging you, but they're going to. They haven't been doing anything. There's this vibe here of somebody that hasn't been initiating anything with you. They haven't been making a move at all. There's There's been no movement between the two of you, but there's about to be, they're about to come initiate a conversation with you. Someone here has been like, fantasizing about you recently, imagining what might happen in the future between the two of you. They're kind of all up in their head about you, just thinking, 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 but not saying anything. And they're imagining different scenarios of how things might work out. One of the scenarios that they're thinking of is that things might work out between the two of you. They have like this vision of like maybe things could work out. Someone here has multiple options though. Like 
there's other people that are interested in them right now. They could be dating or they could be talking to some other people or there's other people that are trying to talk to them. I'm getting that whoever this person is, they're like an eligible bachelor or there's somebody that has a lot of charisma or a lot of good qualities about themselves that does attract multiple people. They're coming through as having a very attractive vibe and they might be very physically attractive as well. There's someone coming through that's like, they could be wealthy. They might work two jobs or whatever job they do work, they, um, Whatever they do for a living is very lucrative or it will be eventually. Yeah, I feel like for most of you, they've, they've already established some sort of success, financial gain, some sort of wealth. It feels like it's somebody that has savings. They're putting money away. They're, they look very responsible with finances. They could have a lot of really nice things as well for some of you. This person likes nice things and has very nice things. But yeah, there's this vibe of like, there's been pain in the past between the two of you. You might have actually hurt each other back and forth or this person hurt you and there hasn't been a lot of movement since then. It just looks like things have been stuck between you and this person coming through there's there's been no conversations there's been no movement in the connection between the two of you and while there's been no movement and things have been stuck they've just been thinking and thinking and thinking about you and what to do and how things might end up if they do if they do things this way what's that going to look like if they approach you in this way what might happen it's like they're going over different scenarios when it comes to you. I feel like one of you had a dream about the other one too. So if you haven't had a dream about this person, they've recently had a dream about you. Let's get some of these. Who is this? I am seeing that you have options, pile three um, of different people that want to talk to you. So even if this is one person that has um, two different sides to them, they're very unpredictable, you still have other people around that are interested in talking to you as well. So I'm just getting pile three. You guys do have options when it comes to people wanting to communicate with you in a romantic way. There's, there's more than one person here. We got the world. Head of the pack, albatross, earth element, interesting. There's heavy earth sign energy here. So they could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or they could have a lot of earth in their chart. They're coming through as being somebody that's very responsible when it comes to like work and finances. They're very... They're focused on building wealth right now. This person is definitely more in a vibe of being a leader rather than a follower. They like to take charge of things. This person likes to be in control. They have a very masculine energy, even if they're not a masculine, like if even if they're not like a man, they're, they have a masculine energy. Ooh, fire too. Mm -hmm. This person's like very passionate, creative, and good with money is what I'm seeing here. You got the stallion. Yeah, there's some big D energy coming through from this person. For some of you, they have children. Only take that if it resonates, but I am getting there's a large group of you where this person has children. They have a, or a child, just one, it could just be one child. 
person has a high SEX drive, whoever they are. They think about naughty things a lot. <laughs> they have a really passionate side to them is what I keep getting. But it's almost like a naughty side too. Um, they like to get very SEXual, especially when it comes to you. They're thinking about wanting to be intimate. They find you to be very sexy. This person might have a lot of power. There's a group of you where this person is powerful. They have a lot of power. They, they could have like a high ranking position. I'm also getting somebody that works in the government. Somebody... Somebody that has a really strict job where they can't do certain things because of their job, even like outside of work, they have to be careful because it could affect their success. It's like they have to keep up this persona pertaining to the work that they do. They're very like structured and they have like restrictions on them because of work. Interesting. It could be religious reasons for some of you. They have restrictions because of their religious beliefs. For some of you, like they're in the church. I'm getting someone very specific here. There's one person. So this is definitely not going to resonate with everybody. But this person could have some sort of like... Like they could be a priest or something like that. You know what I mean? Where they cannot date... For some of you, they're restricted because they're already married. For some of you, they're feeling restricted from talking to you because they're already in some sort of connection with someone else. Or for those of you, this could be your boss and they're not allowed to date you. Or you guys could have a conflict of interest if you were to connect with each other romantically. There could be a conflict of interest. Um, so they're not allowed to do that. They're, there's some sort of restriction or boundary that this person is feeling like they can't. It's inappropriate. It's taboo when it comes to making a move toward you. It feels like that's part of the reason why they've been so stagnant. And that might be what has hurt your guys' feelings in the past is the fact that they've held back so much with you. That they haven't come forward. This person has this like sense of responsibility. Like I need to be responsible. Um, I have to keep this boundary. It feels like they've had some sort of boundary when it comes to you. Like they can't. Or there's some sort of guilt or shame around them contacting you. They have a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibilities. But they have this really strong drive and motivation to just say something to you. It's almost like a force field to where it's uncontrollable to them. It feels like they have tried to control it. They've tried to subdue these feelings. There's something working against the connection between the two of you. And it feels like it's on their end. There's something that is keeping this person from reaching out to you and working against you guys being together. They actually have just started to, or there's something about um, them being emotionally tied to you. They have strong emotion towards you. They have a strong desire to it. It's like all their feelings that they're having about you are really intense. But they have a duty to uphold is what Spirit just said. And I definitely don't talk like that. <laughs> that was a direct channel from Spirit. They have this dream. It literally says here, I said, they've been, this person that's had a dream about you. See, it says making dreams reality. And so I feel like this person had some sort of a naughty little dream about you that they cannot get out of their head where you guys did something naughty together. Some 
spicy, sexy energy together and they can't stop thinking about it and they want to actually do it in real life. But they feel like guilty about that or they feel like restricted from being able to do that. Hmm, this is an interesting one, pile three. I am getting there's someone else here too, though. So there's that person that is like, there's something about them not being able to talk to you. Like I said, they could be married. They could be in a religious type situation where they can't date right now. Could be a work situation where they can't date you because it's a conflict of interest. Take whatever situation resonates for you. There's something here, though, that is definitely causing this person to not initiate things with you when they want to. There's like a blockage. And I just heard you are their first choice though. Like you're the one that they want right now. Cause I see they have options. Yeah, it's like the path that they're on in life, the path that they've already chosen in the past has put them in a situation where they can't be with you or they're not supposed to be with you or there's some shame about being with you. Yeah, you could have some sort of forbidden, like you're not supposed to be together. Or it could have to do with religious beliefs. Like you guys have differences that their religious beliefs say you guys aren't supposed to be together. Oh, this person's really depressed about this situation. Look at this. Look at him with this. This person could have a puppy for some of you. I'm getting a golden retriever for someone. Also, this person might have that golden retriever type energy. Where they're really happy to see you. When they see you, they get all lit up and ooh, excited. But yeah, I'm getting that they're like kind of depressed about the situation. They feel stuck in this situation and they feel like it's hurting both of you. Hmm. They're really depressed about the way things have gone between you two or the dynamic. It's depressing for them. And they have like regrets about the path that they chose in the past. It's like they feel like if they had made different decisions earlier on, then things wouldn't be this way between the two of you. Yeah, they're toil and labor, working a lot. They're definitely focused on money or they have great fortune for a lot of you. Um, it's like they have an important job. Like I said, you could work together. This person does worry about like their financial stability possibly being affected by being with you. Like maybe they might get cut off financially somehow if they were to be with you. They would lose their financial stability. Because it looks like they've built some sort of foundation for themselves. But it, it can't include you. We got high honor and official person peeking out right here. Let me show you guys this. Official person, high honor. So yeah, they could be a boss or like I said, they could be like a priest or a youth group leader. I don't know. There's something about religion for a group of you here. Um, for some of you, it's bo their boss. You guys could be in the military together and not allowed to fraternize. No fraternizing, pile number three. Okay, who is this spirit? Give us a little bit more and then we're gonna get into the messages and the songs. And then we'll do the, oh yeah, look at that passion. Whew, that fire, that passion. Right under the fire card. This person, uh, the chemistry they feel toward you is intense. 
They think you are super sexy, pile three. Like irresistible, very tempting. You guys could have um, acquaintances that you both know. You could be in the same network of people. You guys could have the same friend, mutual friend group, mutual acquaintances. But look at that, look at this. This is how close they wanna be. Neither, skin to skin. Neither one of you is wearing much and there's a lot of touching going on. That's this energy right here. They're very enthusiastic <laughs> about their attraction toward you. Like I said, you are super hot to this person. Like they've never seen anybody that they've been this attracted to. They are more attracted to you than anybody. You're like, I don't know. There's something like, there's no competition is what it feels like. When it comes to you, there's no competition. There's nobody that they want more than you. Yeah, they're holding back. Toxic story. See, I feel like in the past with the pathway in this doorway, it's like they feel like they wish they would have chosen a different path in the past so that they had an opportunity to be with you. And for some of you, they are thinking about moving a different direction, going a different direction and choosing another path so that they can have this opportunity with you. It's like they have to leave something behind to be able to be with you. They have to take a detour from where they were headed, like the, the lifestyle they were headed on, um, whatever they've started establishing, whatever they've been working on. It's like they feel like they're going to have to, to be able to have an opportunity to be with you, they're going to have to change paths, change directions move they have a lot of baggage and burdens about choosing feeling like they chose the wrong thing in the past they're, yeah they're, they've been holding back a lot the two of swords and this wallflower energy is the same thing where they've just been like kind of withholding everything when it comes to you withholding communication they they might even be a little bit shy around you too when they do initiate conversation um they might come toward you in kind of a how do i want to say this it's not like they're going to come in hot it's not like they're going to come in all hot and heavy they're gonna be very reserved toward you when they're coming to talk to you because I am seeing this person is very motivated to talk to you so you should hear from them soon after you hear this reading they have this will to talk to you they have this drive they're being pulled to very motivated to they feel like their life would be so much better if you guys could be together. It's like they're feeling unfulfilled in their current life. They're feeling unhappy. They feel like things aren't really going to get better for them if they keep doing what they've been doing and stay in the situation that they're in right now. But it's not an easy choice either. Like, it, it sounds like it would be an easy choice. Like, just leave that life behind and go toward pile number three then. But there's something that is really complicated about it and there's a lot of baggage and burdens attached to the situation for this person. So it's not so easy for them to just break free. There's a lot of things working against them being able to be in union with you and talking to you. But the way that things are going with them right now, they don't feel like they're going to have everything that they want in life by staying in the situation that they're in. 
Okay, so let's get some messages then. Yeah, you got um you got somebody here that you're like just friends with or it's just an acquaintance of yours that wants to talk to you. That could be someone different than this person that we've been talking about cuz I am getting multiple different people here. But there's one main energy where it's like you can't be together or you shouldn't. Yeah, there's two energies here coming through really strong. Mm. One of them admires your hard work. I feel like you could have worked with this person or worked on something with one of these people. Or they see you at work. They know about the kind of work that you do and they think that it's a hard job. One of these people has a memory with you. Like you guys have dealt with each other in the past in some capacity where there's a good memory that this person goes back to thinking about you and a time where you guys had a really good time together. Oh, one of these people... Okay, one of these people is like unsure about talking to you. So this feels like somebody different. There's someone here that kind of wants to talk to you, but they think it's a bad idea. They think things probably wouldn't work out. I feel like you had an issue with this person in the past or... You guys have acquaintances. There's somebody that said something about you that gave this person the wrong impression about you. There's someone that thinks that um, it would be a bad idea. Like, they want to talk to you, but they're like, that's a bad idea. They kind of have low self-esteem or something and they're really negative about I don't really like that energy I feel like you guys don't even care to hear about that person um because it feels like you have multiple people I don't know if you guys are on dating apps or you just are very present on social media so you have a lot of followers or because of the kind of work you do there's a lot of people that see you and some people you know end up getting a crush on you that kind of vibe because I'm getting one person here that I don't like <laughs> there's one energy and it's not coming through very strong it's not that person that we've been talking about this is like a whole new energy they feel very immature they feel um like they have very low self-esteem they feel like they're somebody that's very possessive and jealous and not somebody that you would really want to deal with. Okay, and then, yeah, then there's this other energy here of somebody that has these memories with you that were really good that they can't forget about. And they think about you when they hear certain love songs. Um... They want to spoil you. Their intentions for you are very good. Like, um, they want to be sweet to you. And they think very highly of you. All these people, actually, all the, all the energies that I'm feeling, think of you as somebody that's like, very unique in a really good way and and some of them feel like you're out of their league like they couldn't even get you if they tried like if they shoot their shot with you you're kind of just like leave leave them on red kind of vibe so yeah it feels like you guys have multiple people i can't even say how many it is it's at least three 
I'd say there's at least three people that have their eye on you that would like to talk to you. It feels like two of them are the ones that are definitely going to talk to you. But one of these people here that wants to talk to you is like really defensive toward you. I'm getting incel vibes from one of them. Yikes. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You're, you're gonna know if that's for you, that you have someone around you that has this really immature vibe of like, almost animosity toward, there's like an animosity toward people that they're interested in because they feel like everybody is out of their league. They have super poor self-esteem. I don't want to talk about this person anymore. Spirit. <laughs> I don't like their energy. Okay, so there's definitely one vibe here that is like undesirable. And then there's one major energy coming through. And then there's one that's a little less intense, but still very interested in you. That one that is less intense and still interested, it's not the person that has the complicated situation where they feel like they can't be with you right now because of the path that they're on, that it's taboo. There's this other energy here where they could be with you. And it looks like they're dating. It looks like it's somebody that is single, available, dating. They might have seen you before, but haven't initiated a conversation with you yet, and they're about to. Or they could be like seeing other people and you guys used to talk in the past a little bit. They're coming back in to talk to you again. It's somebody that feels like they've been single for a while and dating. Let's get some songs from these energies. How are they feeling when it comes to music vibes toward pile number three? Pretty woman. It must have been love. I Fall to Pieces by Patsy Klein, Hands to Heaven by Breathe, and Drive by The Cars. Okay, so make believing that we're together. I told you, <laughs> someone has been dreaming about it. They have literally had a dream. Make believing, fantasizing, dreaming about it, that we're together. That I'm sheltered by your heart. But in and outside, I turn to water like a teardrop in your palm. And it's a hard winter's day. I dream away. So especially during the winter time, there's some intense vibes coming from that person that's been daydreaming about you, fantasizing, and actual like having literal dreams about you. Like I said, you guys could both be dreaming about each other because I'm seeing that one of these vibes, the one that is having the dreams, you guys have some sort of telepathy or you get a lot of synchronicities about each other. You, see, you hear a lot of things that remind you of each other it's it goes both ways like you're feeling that too this is drive who's gonna pick you up when you fall who's gonna hang it up when you call who's gonna pay attention to your dreams there's a lot of energy about dreams right here you guys could have prophetic dreams that could be one of your things yeah who's gonna plug their ears when you scream. This feels like that bitter energy that's coming through of the person that... <laughs> it's almost like res one of them has like this resentment. Like they want you, but they 
definitely don't think that they could get you because you're out of their league and they don't trust people. This person feels very jaded and like negative and you're going to know who I'm talking about. There's some jealous person that has the hots for you, but I feel like they're almost in denial about it. Like if somebody asked them, hey, do you have the hots for pile number three? They'd be like, ew, no, no, gross. <laughs> Something. But they really do, you know, it's like they're fake and they're low vibe and they're just, they have that vibe of like, oh, you should have, you should have liked me because you're not going to ever find anybody that's going to treat you really well. Even though they think you're out of their league, they're still just like, you're going to end up with some jerk or you're going to end up with somebody that doesn't treat you well. You have bad taste because you don't want me. So you must have bad taste. This person's very insecure and like defensive and like, look what you're missing out on. You'll never find anybody that would have treated you as good as me. That kind of vibe. You guys know what I'm saying. And you know who I'm talking about. For those of you that this is for. Someone has that vibe of like. Almost wishing. Bad. Karma in your love life in the future. Because they know they can't have you. It's like they hope that your love life goes terribly then. It's nasty energy. Okay. And then we got hands to heaven. Tonight I need your sweet caress. Hold me in the darkness. That's this person that we were talking about. Tonight I need your sweet caress. Hold me in the darkness. Tonight you calm my restlessness. You relieve my sadness. One of these people feels like you have a very calming energy about you. There's something about you that is very soothing to them. They want to feel your touch. For some of you, they've been through like this, the sadness. You relieve my sadness. This despair card. Poor guy. I like this. This is one of my favorite songs. And this song doesn't hardly ever come out in my pick a card readings. I don't think it has before, actually. And then we have I Fall to Pieces. I fall to pieces each time someone speaks your name. I fall to pieces. Time only adds to the flame. So one of these people hears your name from other people. Like, you guys could have, like I said, acquaintances, the same network, um, mutual friends. And so they're hearing your name from these other people around them. And it's like, Ugh. they get the butterflies. It like makes their heart skip a beat when they hear your name. And they start feeling that chemistry, that passion, that feeling that flame it adds to this this is that flame that chemistry they like your name too they like hearing your name they like saying your name <laughs> now i'm hearing say my name say my name okay let's do the charms now for those of you that like charms we're gonna get really specific details here I want to move these so I can see because I know we had some ages come through okay so only take the specific details that are for you leave the details that aren't for you for the person that they're for I have someone here that you met in 2021, the year 2021. There's someone here that is 51 years old. There's a 51 year old coming through for someone. Here's the charms. 
there's a 35 year old coming through a 32 year old a 38 year old someone here is 26 years old someone here was born bleh, their birthday is December 2nd somebody's birthday is July 23rd somebody's birthday is January 30th someone here just turned 21 remember to drink responsibly is what spirit just said <laughs> okay we got somebody that was born in 1987, somebody that was born in 1984, and somebody that was born in 1961. Okay, let's get names and initials and different tattoos and things here. Someone here plays football or is very, very into football. I'm also getting fantasy football. We got a dancer, somebody that dances. There's a strong music connection with one of these people. Someone here um, has a motorcycle or really likes motorcycles. There's a connection to strawberry cheesecake or you could have been drawn to pile number four, the strawberry ice cream. There could just be a connection to strawberry, period. Strawberries could be a synchronicity for you. All right, I'm getting a tattoo of a dinosaur. Somebody has a tattoo of bones. It's like a, it could be like a skull or some sort of bone um, tattoo. A tattoo with a lock and a key an owl tattoo there's someone here that is really into shoes okay they might have like a lot of shoes or they might like you in high heel shoes if you're dealing with somebody that wears high heels this person could wear heels a lot I'm getting dancer energy I'm also getting something about a strip club for someone. One of these people you met in a very weird way. It's like all these things had to fall together for you guys to meet each other. So it was like serendipity. I'm getting somebody here that works in like stock, like restocking things. I'm also getting like a warehouse, working in a warehouse or working in a, what's a stockyard? I don't even know what that is. I just heard stockyard. Yeah, someone that really likes motorcycles or has a motorcycle. Mm, yeah, one of these people's like, it's that low vibe energy. Somebody here is like prickly. <laughs> Or a prick. Someone's here is a prick. Someone got a really jerky attitude. Yeah, there's definitely a connection to football for someone here. I'm getting a tattoo of dinosaur, tattoo of a gecko, tattoo of a key or a lock or a lock and a key together. A monkey tattoo, a fairy tattoo. There's a star tattoo coming through, a tattoo of a toucan, a bird, like one of those really colorful birds, or somebody could have a bird as a pet. One of these people is really, really smart, like very intelligent, highly intelligent person. There's a lot of earth sign energy, so one of them could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And then we also had the fire sign energy come through. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is here. We have initials, first and last name. So their first or last name could start with a D. 
first last name starting with a V. I'm also getting the name Dave, David, D-V. Also domestic, you know what I'm talking about is coming through. So there could be some sort of, some domestic issues with one of these people or do, involved in a domestic situation. Um, first or last name starting with a Z. First and last name starting with a W. First last name starting with a V, a G, and an R. Yeah, David is coming through really strong. Dave, Daniel, Dawn, Deborah, Debbie, Doug, Dennis, Dawn, Dolores, Dylan, Denise, Danielle, Dale, Danny, Dana, Derek, Dustin, Dean. These can be first or last names as well. And your name could come through because I am connecting with your energy. Devin is here. Dominic is here. Daryl. Darius. Deanna. Dakota. I'm also getting like North Dakota, South Dakota could be significant. Destiny. There is something about serendipity and destiny connected to one of these people. Like you guys were definitely meant to meet each other and play a significant role in each other's lives. Deanna, Dwayne, Diego, Dora, Darren, Damien, Daryl, Drew, Dalton, Desiree, Dallas, also Dallas, Texas could be significant, Dwight, Dwayne, Dominique, Dom, Daryl, Damon, Dylan, Donovan, Dante, Doreen, Dixie, Dawson, Daphne, Diamond, Desmond, Drake. Um, Drake could be a music connection too. You guys got quite a few music things going on. So Drake could be like their favorite artist or you guys could have listened to a song together by Drake. Dane is here. Doyle. DeAndre. Darcy, Dwight. Okay, this, uh, one of these people might not drink anymore. I'm getting something about them like not drinking, being sober, or just not liking alcohol. Or they could be somebody that's always the designated driver when they go out. Okay, uh, we're getting the name Will coming through. Wayne is here, Wendy, Wes, Wesley, Wyatt, Warren, Whitney, Wallace, Weston, Wendell, Willis, Wilson. Like I said, these can be last names as well that come through. Walker, Winston, Wiley, Ward, Wendy. Something about the winter time keeps coming through. That came through in one of the songs. Cold winter, winter time. They, there could be a connection to like um, really cold areas like Colorado. <laughs> Spirit said Iceland. <laughs> okay, the North Pole. <laughs> um, Winona is here. Wilton, Wesley, Whitley, Walton, 
Williams. Something about Walmart, a connection to Walmart or Wally's World. Maybe that's what they call it, Wally's World. I don't call it that, so Spirit's bringing that up. Webster, Wayland, Wells, Warner. Mm, anything else? Whitley, Willett. Walt Wyatt Wade Greg Gracie Grace Gloria Glenn Gordon Gina Grant Gil Glenn Genevieve, Gwendolyn, Grayson, Guadalupe, Guy, Gianna, Gabriella, Grace, Greg, Gage, Giovanni, Graham, Grady, Ginger, Griffin, Griffith, Griffin, Gia, Georgette, Georgia, there could be a connection to Georgia, Gracelyn, Gino, Gianna, Garrison, Garth, Grayson, something about gray. This person could have like gray, silver fox vibes. All right, we got Rob and Robert, Ryan, Richard, Raymond, Ruth, Roy, Rose. Rachel, Rebecca, Ruby, Russell, Rodney, Renee, Rosemary, Ross, Roberto, Ricardo, Raul, Rafael, Lots of Spanish names coming through, so maybe they have a Spanish name that's not coming up. Ramon, Rosalie, Ramona, Riley, Reagan, Robin, Ryder, Rudy, Rochelle, Roderick, Raven, River, Rory, Roosevelt, Reba, Rudolfo, Ruben, Raylan, Riley, Randall, Rocco, Rocky, Rodrigo, Ramiro, Rolando, Reese, Ray, Romeo, Roslyn. Is that a lake? Virginia. So that could be the area or the name. Victoria, Vince is here, Victor, Vincent, Vanessa, Valerie, Veronica, Vicky is here, Vernon, Valentina, Valenzuela, Verna, 
yeah, lots of Spanish names coming through. Vaughn is here. Viviana. Vivi. Vito. Vince. Vern. Vida. Valencia. Venus. There's, there could be some something about Venus. Uh... There could be something about Valentine's Day that's significant for one of these people too that has a synchronicity for you about Valentine's Day. Venice. Val. Valerie. Vicky. Vladimir. Vanessa. Benita. Vienna. Violet. Vanessa keeps coming through <laughs> really strong. Hey, Vanessa, we hear you. We got you, girl. Okay, Violet, Violet. That could also be something significant about the color Violet. I'm getting something about Violet shoes. Interesting. All right, that's it for you guys. Jeez, these are really long readings. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash the thumbs up if you like this kind of reading and you want to see more. I do have private readings available if you want to get into your specific energy because these are collective readings for a whole bunch of you. So if you want to book with me, you can go to my website, amysalter.com or click the link in the drop down box below and you will find that there. That's also where you can purchase the bracelets that you see, the bracelets that I'm wearing or the bracelet for each pile, those are available in my shop. If you're drawn to any other pile, check it out, listen to it, see if anything's resonating for you. And if you're done here for today, I'll see you all next time. Bye, babies. Hey, pile four, welcome to your reading. Let's find out who wants to talk to you and initiate a conversation with you right now. We're gonna find out who they are, get the overall vibe of who they are first. And then we will get messages from them to see what do they want to say, what have they been thinking about. And then we'll get some songs and charms. So stay until the end if you want to hear the songs and the charms. We'll get really specific details with the charms, like names, different occupations. Take the really specific details as they resonate for you and leave the ones that don't resonate for the person that they're for, as long as the overall vibe of the reading fits and isn't super confusing for you, it is still your reading. If it is really confusing for you, go back to the beginning and choose a different pile because these should not be confusing if it is a reading for you. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, Temperance. You guys can also fast forward through the shuffling if you don't like my shuffling because I know some of you don't. Just fast forward through that part. Holy cow, pile four. You guys have at least two people that want to talk to you. For some of you, it's three. But I'm getting at least two people. One of them's coming in hot. Like, you're going to hear from them soon. Or maybe you've already heard from them really recently. And they're about to talk to you again. One of them... Yeah, one of them is, like, in a hurry <laughs> to talk to you. So, it feels like they're wanting to talk really soon. There's someone here from your past that wants to come back. It could be an ex, or it could just be somebody that you used to talk to. I am getting that um, you're exactly their type for someone here. Someone here sees you as, like, you have the look. You have the physical attraction is really strong with one of them. One of them is a stubborn energy, uh, very kind of cold and stubborn. So not maybe not very good with communicating, not very good with being warm and fuzzy. 
They kind of have like this tough exterior and they're also very stubborn feeling. Wow, it just got really bright. That was weird. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Something's going on with that person that I'm talking about that's really stubborn. They need to lighten up is what Spirit just said. So yeah, there's someone here that kind of has a bad attitude or they might have like an attitude problem. They're coming through as being difficult to work with and stubborn and it feels like you know of this person. You know that that's how they are. Um, they make it hard to communicate or they make it hard to deal with them. I'm also getting someone here that's really tall. There's a lot, like there's three, two to three people coming through and one of them is a lot taller than the other ones. Yeah, one of them's very cold, um, kind of rude or just very, like, I feel like they don't even have that great of a sense of humor. <laughs> okay. Um, there is someone here, I feel like that's very physically attractive to you. Like you would, you find them very physically good looking you think they're hot yeah and there's a vibe of someone from the past let's get some more because you guys got a few different energies coming through here who are these people we got the moose yeah one of them is like really tall they could even be big too like big and tall The child, the death card, yeah. There's someone here from your past that wants to come back. The clouds, the crow, the tornado. Yeah, there was an ending with one of these people. They wanna come in and have a new beginning with you now. Even with the death card here, there was like an ending. It could have been a breakup or you guys just stopped talking. We got the moon. This person where things ended between the two of you, they keep thinking about memories with you. You're on their mind a lot and it has to do with a lot of memories. They're remembering a lot of things about the past with you. They're having a lot of nostalgia, like thinking about the good times. I'm also getting that they've been feeling lonely since you guys have been in this separation where you're not talking or since things ended, they got really lonely. You've been on their mind a lot. They want to come back in and they feel like things got extreme between the two of you or they fell apart. They feel like things, um, you guys got, were torn apart or there was some unexpected ending or a really sudden ending between the two of you. It was just like over, but now they're wanting to come back and see if you guys can reconnect and work things out. They feel like you guys had a misunderstanding and they want to clear up some confusion or clear up any miscommunications resolve any problems that you guys had yeah there's, there's an energy of here someone being very motivated to work things out with you make things right with you heal the connection between the two of you I, i'm getting one of these people is dating someone else or they could be in a relationship with someone else that doesn't necessarily have to be the person i was just talking about but it could be there's there's a heavy energy of like there's two to three people that want to talk to you. One of them is either married or has some sort of a, a partnership going on or they're dating someone seriously. But they're interested in you. But they're already taken. One of them is younger than you. If they're not younger, it feels like they're younger. But if you're like, I can't think of anybody. Because these are people you're going to know who I'm talking about. If you can't think of anybody that's younger than you, then they're like super immature compared to the other people. 
people that are coming through. There's like a very immature energy or there's one that is a lot younger than the others. One of them has, yeah, this feels like the cold person has feelings for you, but they don't speak them. They, I feel like they've never said it. You probably don't know how they feel about you. Um, they have a lot of feelings and emotions, but they're, they're almost trying to avoid them or detach from them or ignore them or something, shut them down. They're trying to shut down the feelings that they're having. They're hiding feelings that they're having for you. One of them is very hesitant about coming forward to talk to you. I'm getting that one of them has a really outgoing personality and then there's one that's more calm, chill. Like one of them is almost like hyper and talkative, like very chatty, um, maybe very animated, like a very powerful presence to them. And then this other energy is very like chill, cool, laid back not trying to be the center of, uh, center of attention. One of them has like an attitude and a stubbornness. And they could even have like a, an aggressive energy about them. Somebody that can be very aggressive or be very harsh. One of them has an artistic vibe. They could be creative, artistic. They could be really into arts. Yeah, I'm getting a creativity coming from one of them. So they could be some sort of an artist or they are just artistic. Um, even if they don't do that regularly, if you saw something that they drew, you'd be like, holy cow, you're really good at that or something. Um, or they might just start singing and you're like, damn, you have a good voice. Like, you could be a professional music artist or something. You know, there's just this vibe of, like, one of them has artistic talent is the bottom line. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay, let's get some more. Who are these people, Spirit? Who are these people that want to talk to Pile 4? The family room. Yeah, you've been to one of their houses or they've been to your house for one of these people. Or you spent time in somebody else's home together. Community. And thief. Woo! Expectation. Oh, you're expecting to hear from one of them. So there's one of them you've been waiting to hear from and they're going to talk to you. So you're going to get that message you've been waiting for that you've been expecting. Look at the bottom of the deck message, a message that you were expecting is coming in. So yeah, you've wanted to hear from one of these people or maybe more than one. Okay. One of them is coming through as like living in the same town as you, or you guys go grew up in the same town as each other uh, or you guys have the same community of people like you guys could have gone to the same type of events or you see each other out in public at, at an establishment that you guys both go to one of them feels kind of sketchy <laughs> There's one of these people that I feel like is not a good idea for you to, it, I, like, you probably feel like it's not a good idea for me to talk to this person when they try to initiate this conversation with you. It's like you might have this feeling of having a guard up with them, feeling like it's a bad idea for you guys to talk. Okay. 
You know, it's like you can't trust one of them. One of them has kids. I am getting children involved with one of these people. Or like I said, if you can't think of somebody, because you're going to know who these people are. If you can't think of somebody in your life that would want to be talking to you, that has children, it's just that they're very immature. They could be younger than you, or they're just like really, really immature for their age. But yeah, there's a big group of you where one of these people has a child. There's a child involved. New love. Okay. Yeah, one of these people, you've never been with them before. A new person, or you might not know their, them very well. You might have just met. Or if you have known them for a while, you've never had any deep conversations with each other yet. So one of these people is from your past, and one of them is like a new energy that you haven't, you haven't really connected with yet. One of them is a partier. I'm getting that one of them likes to have fun. They like to party. They might like to go to like concerts or different events. Like I said, there could be a connection with concerts or community events with one of these people where you guys see each other at a party. You see each other at a concert. You see each other at some sort of community gathering. Community gatherings. Or you grew up in the same community, the same town. One of them is definitely, yeah, the life of the party. Like I said, one of them has this vibe of being like very talkative and they like to go out and have fun and they like to get loud and they like to be wild. And then the other one is definitely more chill, calm, liking um, more of an introvert, not really liking large crowds. One of them was like all about being out in the crowd and the other one's like, nah, I'll pass. I don't like crowds, <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay. So you definitely have two energies here that are very different from each other. One of them comes through like a, a bowl in a china shop. <laughs> Interesting. And then one of them is quiet as a church mouse. Those are the two things that Spirit's saying. So you got a bowl in a china shop and you got a church mouse. <laughs> yeah, you don't know one of these people very well. Or you just met, you just met each other. You're just starting to get to know each other. I do, yeah, you're getting a lot of messages here, look. So you're gonna get messages from at least two different people in the very near future. One of them is coming through as lighter skinned or lighter hair, lighter eyes. They could have blue eyes, green eyes blonde hair, um, dirty blonde hair, light skin, lighter skin. Okay. Now that we know who they are, because you guys should know by now who I'm talking about. If you're really confused and you have no freaking idea what I'm talking about, this isn't your pile, so go choose a different pile. Let's see what these people want to say or what they might say to you. Pile four. What do they want to say to pile four? Couple more. Mm. There's that creative person. You are a muse for one of them. 
the creative person actually gets um, motivation to be more creative because of you. Whoever that was that I was getting that vibe of them being some sort of an artist. They use you as a muse. That's cute. Julia Fox vibes. <laughs> From Uncut Gems. All right. So one of them's frustrated with you. Yeah, see, one of them has a bad attitude. One of them has a bad attitude and they're giving off a ton of red flags. And it's like, you probably already know about this person being a huge red flag. Feeling like they're hard to work with. Feeling like somebody's got a bad attitude. They're not trustworthy. Yeah, you got the thief and don't trust me. So there's someone here where they could be a player. They could have like a player type of vibe or somebody that's a big BSer, like car salesman type of vibe. So all talk, no action. Um, very detached, like easily able to just walk away from people and not really give a crap. Um, somebody that is easily agitated too. I feel like one of these people has a bad attitude. They're often in a bad mood and I don't even really want to talk about that person anymore. So you guys, I feel like you have that vibe toward them. Like, I don't want to talk about that person, Amy, and I don't want them contacting me. Like there's someone here where you don't want to talk to them. They want to talk to you, but they're a nasty energy. And then this person from the past does not want you to forget about them. They're wanting to come back in and have a new beginning with you. And they feel like maybe you are moving on from them or you may have forgotten about them. So they're wanting to talk to you to see if you still are interested. To see if you've still been thinking about them because they've been thinking about you too. One of them has a crazy attraction to you to the point where it, it drives them up the wall. Like it's driving them crazy. They want you really bad. Their attraction toward you is really intense. And this person that you've dealt with before feels like they didn't handle things with you very well. Like they wish they could have a do over. They want another try or they want to start over. They want a fresh slate. They, they wish they would have handled things differently with you in the past. They wish they would have handled things differently overall so that they could be already be in contact with you right now. Yeah, someone here wishes that they could go back and change the way that they handled things with you in the past. Okay, let's get the charms. We're gonna get lots of details now. Take them as they resonate for you. We'll get names, initials, birthdays, ages, all that stuff, okay? So first of all, we have a Scorpio that's coming through really strong for someone and a Pisces. Scorpio and Pisces, two water sign energies. Take the specific details though if they resonate for you. As long as the overall vibe resonates, it's still your reading, okay? All the specific details don't have to resonate for it to be yours. We have a Sagittarius here coming through for someone. Yeah, there's something about a connection to family one of these people might know your family or have met your family or you know their family, you met their family. There's a connection to family tree or community, like your families know each other or your family is well known in the community. Their family might be very well known in the community that you're in. We have a Libra coming through here. I also have somebody that is involved in with the law somehow so they could have some sort of legal things going on so there could be somebody here going through a divorce 
I'm also getting somebody here that is a lawyer or somebody that needs a lawyer. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a bartender that's coming through for someone. There's a mechanic here. There's an electrician here. Somebody that ghosted you in the past is coming through. Like just didn't respond, didn't communicate with you, just ghosting. Yeah, wow, there's a lot of energy here about one of your families or both of your families. You might have gone to one of their family's houses or they've been to your family's house or your families know each other somehow and through the community, something. I'm also getting, if that doesn't resonate at all, there's something about their children, their legacy. They have children, they have a family. And they could be somebody that's very important in the community. There's a stubborn energy coming through. One of them's very stubborn, hard headed. I'm almost getting like a know it all, too, like know it all type attitude. There's someone here that likes to fish. I'm getting a connection to Mexico or New Mexico. One of them has a very close passed on loved one that might have just recently passed away. Or if it's been a while since they passed away, it was like somebody that they were really, really close to. You know, like they lost their mother years ago or something. Um, it's like they have a guardian angel that was a really close loved one of theirs. It could have been like their best friend passed away. Um, one of their parents, a sibling, I'm just getting a very close loved one coming through for one of these people that it's like recently passed or it's like fresh in their mind. So even if it's been years since they passed away, it's something that they just, especially during the holidays, it's harder cause that person's not here anymore. So it's like every Every year around the holidays, even though they've been gone for years, it starts getting hard for them. So one of them is in that vibe right now. I'm getting one of them is very soft, sweet teddy bear type energy. So yeah, you got that one that's like aggressive and cold and rude. But then there's definitely a vibe here of somebody that's sweet, snuggly, calm, chill, kind of introverted. One of them is coming through as being like really silly or they have a, a, like a goofy side to them. They could act a little bit weird sometimes, maybe <laughs> kind of a weirdo sometimes. All right. We got one of them that is super positive. One of these people that wants to talk to you is somebody that is very like optimistic. They don't like talking about negative things. They don't dwell on negative things. They don't like being in a depressed mood. They, they like to be happy. There's someone here that um, strives for happiness and positivity. It's definitely not that cold person that I keep feeling coming through. One of them is very cold. Like a, yeah, like a jerk <laughs> spirit. Okay. We have someone here that is 21 years old for someone. Someone is 24 years old. We have someone that's 28 years old. Oh my gosh, you guys, my phone died. <laughs> it just whoop, right in the middle of the very end of your pile. Okay, I thought I could make it without it dying, but I, uh, here we are. Okay, so we're good now, let's finish. So let's see, we, we just went through the ages that have come through. Um, we have a 44 year old here as well, a 22 year old, 39 year old. Different tattoos are coming through. There's someone here with an angel tattoo. There's someone here with a bear tattoo. There's a gecko, a fish, 
uh, what is that called? Um, a skull, a skull tattoo, but it's like a, a ram. So maybe air Aries energy, or they could have a skull tattoo, a tattoo with a tree. There's a star tattoo coming through. Someone that works in plumbing. I already said the bartender. Someone that works with lumber or woodworking. I'm also getting landscaping. I'm also getting something about a vineyard or an orchard coming through for someone. There's a mechanic here. A handyman type of vibe. Somebody, their job is to fix things. Fix things or put things back together. One of them could be really into like the planets, um, the star, like astrology, but also I'm getting, you know, just exploring outer space, being really intrigued by outer space and the planets. Dobby. Is that from Dobby? Is that from Harry Potter? Something about Dobby just came through. I don't even, I've never even watched that movie. <laughs> You're gonna know if it's for you. There's a connection to Alice in Wonderland for someone here. All right, first and last initials. We have first or last name starting with a D, first and last name starting with a B. An O, a Y, a J, and a K. O, Y, J, K. Um, one of these people could joke a lot. I'm getting one of them likes to joke around a lot. Or maybe they have a hard time being serious. We have a lot of B names coming through. Are you guys ready for the names? <laughs> Okay, I, I'm hearing Brian, Ben, Brandon, Brenda, Brian again, Bruce, Bobby, Brad, Bradley, Blake, Barry, Brett, Bill, Brent, Brett, <laughs> Brett, Brett, Brett. <laughs> Brett's coming through really strong. Bryce is here, Bailey is here, Brayden, Brooklyn, Brandy, Bethany. Your names could also come through. Last names might also come through. We have Bridget, Brady, Becky, Byron, Brody. Bianca, Bella, Belinda, Braxton, Bentley, they could drive a Bentley, Bennett, Bryant, Bo, Brayden, Brock, Brooks, Brooke, Bonita, Brittany, Brennan, Bert, Blaine, Blair, Bradford, Bradshaw, Brandon, Boyd. There's something about Balenciaga coming through as well. Bailey, Burton, Bella, Belle. 
Bryson, Braxton, Dawn, Dave, Dylan, Denise, Darren, Dale, Dan or Danny, Derek, David, Daniel, Dustin, Demetrius, Darlene, Dean, Don, Devin, Dominic, Daryl, Destiny, Daisy, San Diego is coming through. That could be significant. San Diego, California, Damien, Drew, Dalton, Dwayne, Dwight, Donnell, Daryl, Dylan, Dominic, Dawson, Daphne, Desmond, Diamond, Drake, Dustin is here, DeAndre, Doyle, Daryl, Dorian, Darwin, Deanna, Oscar, Olivia, Owen, Omar, Otis, Oli, Orlando, Orville, Octavia, Odell, Odessa, Oakley, Omari, Octavio, I just heard Ohana, isn't that? Hawaiian, Ohana, Ohana, I don't know, Otis, so this person, one of these people could be Hawaiian, Ozzy, O'Day, O'Donald, O'Connor, Orson, Orland, O'Neill, okay, I think that's all for the O's, somebody that works in an office um, where they have like a lot of paperwork, they have to deal with a lot of paperwork is coming through, I'm also getting somebody in real estate I'm also getting somebody that works in communications. Um, Yolanda is coming through. Yvette, Yvonne, Yasmin, Yosef, Juliana, Yasmin, Yara. Yuri, Yahara, Yolanda, Jessica, Yetta, Yoel, Yancy, Yusuf, Young, Yasmin, Yana, Yanet, Yuna, Yuzra or Uzra, Isabella, Ye Isabella, Isabella, Yale, Yelena, Yoshio, 
and Ivana. Ivanka. Isn't that a Trump? <laughs> Ivanka Trump. Maybe there's a connection to that. Okay. Um, I'm getting the name Bobby coming through really strong. Greg is coming through. Just some random ones coming through now. Last name Frederick is coming through. Last name George. Okay. Is that it, Spirit? Are we done? Somebody that likes um, <laughs> vodka and orange juice. Tito's. Cranberry and Tito's and Cran. I don't know. Okay. That's all. That's all I got. <laughs> so now we're done. I can't believe my phone died. That has never happened. I'm usually really good about making sure I have enough juice to get through all of the piles that I'm doing. So sorry for the little interruption. I don't even know what got cut off, but whatever you guys were meant to hear, you will hear. So don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my God, did we? We didn't get any songs. We gotta get songs. Sorry, Pile 4. What are the songs for Pile 4 from these people? From these two to three different energies that I'm feeling. What are the songs? Whoa. What are the songs? What are the songs? Let me love you. All right, we have different names coming through. Again, we got the name Michael, the name George, the name Charlie, the name Mario is here. We got Wayne, we got Peter, we got Gabe, Gabriel. Okay, so first song, we got Addictive by The Truth Hurts. He's so contagious, returns my pages, he's got me anxious, he's what I waited for. See, this is the person that you guys have been waiting to hear from. There is an, a message that you're expecting, and this song is about that person. So it feels like you guys get a little bit nervous about this person here. They make you a little bit anxious. You definitely want to talk to to them. Um, it says he keeps me guessing. He's spontaneous. He's so persuasive. It doesn't have to be a he. This could be a she. It doesn't matter the gender, but this is somebody that you want to hear from. They're very persuasive. When it comes to you, you find them irresistible, hard to resist. Um, there's also somebody that you can't figure out. There's somebody here that wants to talk to you. It's like you can't figure them out. You don't really know what they're thinking or you don't really know what they're going to do next. Um, and they might be really slow when it comes to communication. It could be somebody that you, you expect a message from them, but you're like waiting to hear from them. Like you have to wait to get a message back or you have to wait to hear anything from them they take a long time and then we got careless whisper it says i'm never gonna dance again guilty feet have got no rhythm though it's easy to pretend i know you're not a fool i should have known better than to cheat a friend and waste the chance that i'd been given so someone here feels like they handled things badly with you in the past and it might have caused them to lose their chance with you or that they wasted their chance because they were screwing around and not handling things. They weren't coming correct. They weren't handling things with you right. They wasted time. They wasted their chance. They cheated themselves. They feel like they cheated themselves. They also feel like they've been pretending like this hasn't affected them or that you don't affect them. They put on a facade about their feelings for you. And then we have Attention 
by Charlie. I know that dress is karma, perfume, regret. You got me thinking about when you were mine. And now I'm all up on you. What do you expect? But you're not coming home with me tonight. So there's someone from the past that feels like they regret the way things went with you. They feel like they're getting some ba bad karma or they've had some bad karma when it comes to you. You got them up in their head thinking a lot. And especially about thinking about the past. When they didn't handle things right, they're, they're like regretting that and thinking about it a lot and um, kind of wishing that they could go back and do things again back when things were good between the two of you. And then we have Let Me Love You by Mario. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything that you want and need. Baby, good love and protection. Make me your selection. Someone here really wants you to choose them. One of these energies really wants you to let, let them love you. Choose them. Let them protect you. They want, they want to be your choice of who you want to be with. And then we got Sledgehammer. Show me round your fruitcakes. Because I know pile number four got that booty. This person loves the, bo <laughs> the booty. This person wants to be shown around your fruitcakes. Because I will be your honeybee. Open up your fruitcakes. Where the fruit is as sweet as can be. I want to be your sledgehammer. Why don't you call my name? One of these people is waiting to see if you make the first move. And then we got Sucker for Pain. I torture you. One of these people could cause a lot of frustration for you. I feel like it's mutual. You guys both frustrate each other because they're coming out with, I'm frustrated with you. I torture you. You torture me. This is from... What's that movie? Mm, with the Joker... And Harley Quinn. So that could be kind of a dynamic that you have with one of these people. They could be kind of like the Joker. Having some major low vibe attitude that might actually bring you down to a low vibe place yourself. I torture you. I'm a slave to your games. So, yeah, it feels like there's some games going on between you and one of these people. Or some back and forth between you two. Definitely some toxicity, having issues with each other, but not being able to stay away from each other. I'm just a sucker for pain. I want to chain you up. I want to tie you down. I'm a sucker for pain. All right. And then we also have... Somebody with a birthday of April 1st that is here and somebody with a birthday of April 21st. Okay. Or that could be a significant time period with one of these people that came through in April between the, like, the month of April. Something went on with one of these two people significant between the two of you. Could have been when you met. Could have been when you stopped talking. Could have been something significant that happened with this person in April. All right, and then I also have someone that was born in 1986 and somebody that was born in 2002. And somebody has a birthday of the 7th. They were born on the 7th of the month. All right, that's it for you guys. Now I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this. Smash the thumbs up if you like this kind of reading and you want me to do more like it in the future so I know which ones you guys are wanting the most. And listen to any other piles that you were drawn to. There could be more messages for you in other piles if you felt drawn to them. If you're done here, I'll see you all next time. And if you want to book a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me where I just tap into your energy and answer your specific questions, you can do that on my website, amysalter.com. The link for that is down below. That's where you can also find 
the bracelets that I'm wearing or the bracelets that were in each pile today the crystal bracelets that you can purchase on my website all my bracelets have been cleansed okay I always cleanse them and then I charge them so they're all charged up and ready for you guys to soak up the good energy. They all do different things, so make sure you read the description for the bracelet that you want to purchase to see what it does when you wear it, okay? I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye, babies!